in this question now we're going to find out the value of sine 15 degree all right uh, recently we have learned the formula of uh, sine cosine tangent and many other uh, trigonometric ratios into the sum of the two angles all right i mean it's something like sine of a plus b we learned similarly we learned sine of a minus b so if you have learned the formula of sine a plus b and sine a minus b then you can easily find out the the the, the trigonometric uh, ratio of sine 15 degree all right now how to do this so first i'm going to write the formula for the sine a plus b and sine a minus b by the way here i'm going to use this one but still i'm gonna write both of them sine a plus b it's very easy sine a cosine of b all right plus when it is plus write here plus sine b cosine of a all right now similarly here always write sine a cos b but when it's minus put your minus sine b cos a or cosine of a some country in, in some country people say cosine of a some people say cos a but uh, in, in in shortcut people say cos a all right uh, in my country also people say same thing uh, you, you understand in any way in any word you recall it uh, does not matter uh, the concept is this one right so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna apply this formula the sine a minus b formula to find out the sine 15 degree right because uh, we don't know sine 15 degree though uh, I told you already that the sine uh, I'm any trigonometric angle which are multiple of 15 degree are called standard angles and we can easily find out the value of those without using calculator or uh, any trigonometric table so how to do this because uh, you know how we can find out so see how we can find out you know what I'm going to do I'm going to write sine 15 degree as the difference of two standard other angles sine uh, 45 degree minus 30 degree. and now see here I know 45 degrees well also and 30 degree also so I can easily find out you know now this sine a minus b so see sine a cos b let me shift it a little cool okay sine 45 degree times cosine of 30 degree sine a cos b I have written and now uh, rest of the power sine b that is sine 30 degree sine b cosine of uh, cos a that is cos 45 degree so now we know the values of sine 45 degree that's 1 over root 2 and cosine of 30 degree that's root 3 over 2 similarly minus sine 30 degree that's 1 over 2 and cosine of 45 degree is also again 1 over root 2 further let's go it's uh, root 3 over 2 root 2 minus again 1 over 2 root 2 so our sine 15 degree is going to be root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2 finished all right like this you need to find out the sine 15 degree here we find out the value of sine 15 degree but in similar process you can easily find out the value of cosine of 15 degree tangent of 15 degree and so many others you know by applying this uh, i mean by applying uh, i mean this formula we did it somewhere you, you may add it you know so like similarly like you're adding 45 and 30 degree so what will happen 45 plus 30 that's 75 degree all right similarly like uh, uh you need to find out uh suppose you know like uh, 120 degree let's say sine 120 degree you need to find out but how to do it just you know what you have to do just write sine 90 degrees value you know and uh add 30 degree and use this formula and you'll get it there are a lot of lot of methods you know to to find out the trigonometric angles of any angles you know any any bigger or smaller I means 14,000 15,000 or 14 millions does not matter at all once you get the tricks there are thousands of methods you know not the thousands but there are many methods to do it so those all comes after the confidence learn all the formula keep always those in your mind all right that's really plays a very very uh, great role because trigonometry is just you know uh, it's just a, a game of playing formulas <laughs> you have to play the formulas a lot if you want to do if you want to solve the questions related to the trigonometry so all the best good luck see you in the next video bye bye